Hi everyone, this is the next part of the nappy making kind of series I've been doing for you. So just to explain what I've done since the last video, I've put on all the poppers with all the little reinforcing bits. And then I've put my sandwich layers together. So the PUL is on the bottom with the shiny side up. I've then put on my terry layer. If you were using microfiber or suede cloth, you'd put that right side up. And then I put my top layer right side down. Also, I have marked where my elastic is going to stretch in between. And then on the top part, I have marked my turning hole. So I'm going to start on one, go way around and finish at the other. And then that gives me a turning space to turn the whole nappy out. But you do that after you put your elastic on as well. So um, I'm going to use a serger to put my layers together. I prefer serging, I just quite like it. Um, and then you top stitch afterwards. It's really important to make sure you top stitch well when you use a serger. Sewing is just a bit more boring for me. <laughs> I don't know why I find it. I just, you know, I was really scared of my um, overlock for so long. And then once I finally like brave taking out the box and stuff, never look back. Okay, so I have pinned this and I have pinned it in my seam allowance. Um, if you're sewing, you need to get really good sharp corners that you can trim. Obviously, the overlocker, you can't trim the corners because you just cut the thread. So I'm just going to serge all the way around. Pin there, make sure I didn't catch it. Off the end, mm. see if I can get you a bit closer, and then can you see how it's come off the end? And then this one is all nice and flat, and then pop that under and go down that. Side. off the end this is to get my nice flat edges on the outside Pick it in again watch out for your pins as usual i've once put a pin through an overlocker and it was not fun <laughs> now on this one you don't really try and go round curves you just kind of straighten the curve out so Cuts away your seam allowance for your So, like a ferret, so nice and easy. And so like the front bit now. Start off at the back. Obviously, it works a bit harder. And three layers. Watch out for the pin still. So this is um officially day one of the um national. <laughs> managed to get some food shopping today. I managed to get some meat, which is quite nice. We haven't had any fresh meat for about a week now. So. That was lovely. Got a nice turkey joint for roast turkey because there's no chicken or beef or pork or lamb. Got some lamb steaks though, so that was quite nice. Oh, I don't want to wobble you too much there. There we go. And then... Second leg curve. Don't have to rush, keep feeding these layers all the time. Mostly if you're on your own, you can use an overlocker stitch or not. Straight stitch. Last 
end piece at the back side, which is the bit that comes. Now on the home straight. And that is around the outside bit done. I'm just going to cut this. Okay. So I do sometimes serge elastic, but I'm not going to in this instance. I'm going to zigzag it on and then top stitch around the outside. Let's just get my over look out of the way. Right. So as you can see on the other side, it's all surged all the way around the outside. And obviously that will then be reinforced with the top stitching. So turn that pin. Now, if you want it to roll inwards, you put your elastic on the outer side. If you want to roll the seam outwards, you put it on the PUL side. I'm going to put it on the outer layer to the bare print side. So it rolls in. So when it's in the groove, the legs, it all like rolls in and tucks in nice. It feels a bit more comfy. So again, try and keep your pinning or gripping to your seam allowance. The reason why I'm going to do this on a sewing machine is because I can leave my pins in situ and hold the elastic really well into place without having to worry about the pins going through the needles of the overlocker. So all I'm going to do is, can you see how to line that up? I believe not okay. So I'm gonna put the end of my, I'm using clear elastic, probably not the best to show you, but that's just what I do. So clear elastic. And pin, and if you pin at a right angle to your needle's gonna go right. So your needle should roll over it. There we are, nice and flat. The other end goes at the other line that you've marked. Now you'll notice that the elastic is shorter. So when you go to sew it, you're gonna hold it in place, and that will give you your nice gathered up elasticated seam. Probably hear my delightful son uh, making noises. He's um having fun playing. Obviously I can't do any videos at the moment with any, oh, any children in the background because we're all on lockdown. Um I'm just gonna grip it like I'm making this look really awkward with my hand. Going to grip that in the middle in a stretch position. So when I put it through the machine, I'll put it through that bit and then I'll get to the middle pin and then stretch the rest of it. Makes it a little bit easier to do. But as you can see, kind of holding it like that. Once you pull it all out, it'll be perfect. I'm just going to stick that pin through the other side. So be a little bit careful with elastic because it, you can overstretch it. So I'm using 10 centimetres per side. Where's that other piece? As I said before in the video, you can get um, swimming grade elastic, which is for like use in the same way, but in swimming costumes and bikini bottoms and stuff. There's other underwear elastic, which is coloured and stuff. You don't really need to worry about the colour of it because you're not going to see this. It's all going to be on the inside of the nappy when you've finished. So. In this side, then we do that middle bit again and catch the middle, and then we'll take it to the same machine and sew it in place. So about the middle. Right. 
from pin then. Right, so now I'm going to go to the sewing machine. And so, so I'm just going to pop you there. Pull the machine forward with my foot. So for the stitch, I would use a zigzag. Um, this works best for putting on the elastic. Let's get that one in position. Let's put these pins away before I end up sticking myself. Right, let's get into position so you can see what's going on. There we are. Right, so my machine's threaded. Put it on like a normal zigzag. So, I think we've got that one. Now that's there. Don't be too tight. So I've gone for a stitch length of just about two and a half to three and a zigzag of about three to four. My tensions are normal. So what you need to do is hold it in the stretch position. Feed it under. And zigzag a couple of times. Then you can take your pin out safely and it's secure. So it's all about holding it in the right position here. Oh, I guess I go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold that right along your stitch lay edge. Keep it lined up. So I haven't let go of that middle pin yet. It's all still being gripped. That middle pin staying there until I absolutely. So now I'm at the pin, taking it out. So now you just repeat, but with the other side. So you hold that nice and taut. Line it up nicely with your edge. <laughs> You can reverse a little bit if you want. Just keep your stitches nice and neat. Okay. So now you soon you let go. It gathers up nice and has that stretch. So I'm gonna do the other side. And then I will turn out and top stitch. I'll show you that in a separate video. So just repeat that for the other side and then you'll be ready to do the last part and that'll be your nappy mate. So I um, hope you enjoyed that little bit. Do subscribe and like my page and I'll see you in 10 for the next section. Bye.